Hello, today we'll be taking a look at the new feature, MVC High Availability. This feature allows us to set up a bank of games and have a host and a standby controller. The standby serves as it fell over should the host go down for whatever reason. In order to have this feature work correctly, you must have two MVC Progressive License. Do understand, the games must have the same pay table and denominations or this feature will not function correctly. Should you need a reference to refer to, look into our SGLearn or our Technical Communications Library. Here you will find all the detailed information covered in this video. This feature supports near area and local area progressives as well as wide area progressives. To prevent any confusion, there is a process in place that is to be followed when setting up MVC Bank. This diagram illustrates the sequences, the process, and the usage of the procedures that need to be followed. As we can see, we have, again, a column that shows us the sequence we must follow, what process is going to come when we're doing each of the sequences, as well as the usage. Should there be a procedure for each of the sequences, we need to take note of those. Provided there are no other issues, we are now ready to set up our host and standby EGMs. So, let's get started. To start, we must insert our MBC Progressive License into our host EGM. First, we must ensure that the EGM is powered off. Open the CPU and insert the first license key into any available 2.0 USB port as shown here. Next, we can close and lock the CPU. Then turn the EGM on. Once cabinet has booted up completely, Touch the self-test button to access the operator's menu. We can now touch the drop-down menu by EGM mode. Select Multilink Bank Controller from the choices given. Select the Setup menu. Here we need to enter the name of the bank controller we are creating. It is suggested to use the name that matches the game theme you are setting up. Once the name has been entered, you will see the Configure Link button active. Note, the name used for the EGM host is the same name needed to be used for the standby EGM. Select Configure Links. When this page opens, we will need to ensure we have the automatic link sharing and apply modified configurations to radio button selected. Home button. For the modified configurations, apply to button, choose from the list all themes, games, and denoms. Once this is completed, select the create links button. Again, everything will be grayed out. To make changes, you must again perform a RAM clear. Select View or Edit Links. You will be taken to the Multilink Bank Controller. At this time, if the customer has additional funds, transfer, or just wants to add money to the progressive levels, we can make these changes. If no changes needed to be made, select Exit. Again, we are taken back to the main screen with all of the buttons active. Select Start Progressive once you are comfortable and no more changes need to be made. Note, once you select the Start Progressive, you will see this button change to Progressive Started. But before it starts, you will see some messages. The first one will be which controller we are setting. Since this is the host, it will determine this as the host and then give a message stating we will need to also set up a standby cabinet if an additional license dongle is available. Select OK. Before we leave this page, let's take a look at a few things. 
Starting with the con controller information, we can see which controller we've actually set up. Here it states this is active, which tells me we are the host. Next, we can see the number of links we've created along with the number of clients we have. Again, since this is the host, we don't see any. Lastly, we can see the IP address of the host cabinet. Now we are ready to complete our progressive setup for our host EGM. From here, we will start our progressive optioning. Starting with the progressive tab, select configure. The first option to set will be Configure Progressive Combos. Select this button, then select the game theme below the themes. Once you select this, you can now assign the level ID that is being set up. In our example, the game will be all on a MML NAP Progressive. Select Save. Confirm your save. Observe. Everything is now grayed out. Once this has been saved, the only way to make any changes will require a RAM clear to be performed. From here, we can select our progressive button and then select Configure Controller. As shown, select MML NAT. It will take you to the next screen. On this screen, it is suggested to touch the refresh button a couple of times before selecting the drop down arrow. When selected, we should see the name of the controller we set up. Select the name and then select Save. Provided there are no other issues, we can now select the Home button and review our pending tilts. If successful, we will see only our doors and maybe printer load tilts, but all progressive information will have cleared. This indicates we've successfully set up our host EGM. To set up the standby, we will perform the same process performed for the host EGM. The only exception we need to take into consideration will be under our multi-link bank controller options. Remember, we must use the same name as we did for the host and then when we start the progressive, observe the EGM information. Here, you will now see the standby as well as two IP addresses, one for the host and the other for the standby EGM. See the inset provided here in the video. Thank you.